Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, this time I'm looking at an SD card for um, the links from Retro HQ. So that's uh, the guy behind that is um, Saint. Um, I'll post some links down below uh, to the Atari Edge forum. Um, if you want one of these, you can get on the pre-order list, and um, I think he's still manufacturing these at the moment, um, and he might well end up needing to get a second, uh, you know, lot built uh, because they're the proving to be very popular, um, even though they've only just literally. Um, started to sort of roll off the production line um, so yeah um, nice sweet packaging actually there was uh, just enough bubble wrap and stuff to protect this so pleased with the, the way it was packaged um, let's put them in a little anti-static bag um, I'm just gonna earth myself actually before I touch this just in case I've got a bit of a static charge yeah, there we go um, now it has got I think you can get two different versions it does them with the cover without the cover you can see this is one of the ones that's got the uh, uh, printed cover there that's really nice actually <laughs> yeah I'm very impressed it, it's not me back that I wasn't expecting that at all can you see it's it's just um, totally encapsulated in there so um, yeah very impressed I was hoping to see the insides of it I will buy another one of these off Saint um, in a few months I think um, he was kind enough to send me this one for review actually um, and uh, you know he didn't want any payment for it but you know it was on my list of things to do he's done such a good job I did say to him look I'll pay you uh, at the end of the month when I get paid I just spent too much money this month already on various things you know like Doom came out the PC engine um, <clears throat> you've seen in the previous videos there two different PC engines I've been messing around with so I had overspent so it was really nice of him to do that and uh, I wanted to mention it just to say you know thanks thanks very much it's very much appreciated because like I say um, I couldn't have afforded this this month really without putting myself out financially but you can see um, I shipped this with an SD card in there it's a micro SD it's not one of the ones that clicks I don't think no it just slides in there so yeah um, don't want to force that but uh, is it a SanDisk you can't tell yeah it looks like oh it's Nokia <laughs> it's Nokia it must have got some um, cheap cards but that's one gig um, the interesting thing is the Lynx library is so small and the files are so small, you could probably fit, well yeah I know you can, you can fit everything on a one, one gig card there without an issue, so um, I think we'll give it a try now, um, then I'll perhaps go away and stick my own games on here, but um, yeah, it's annoying that the lid's on, that you know, the top's on there, but what, what what's, I'll perhaps put some pictures, I'll put a link down below to a picture of the board as well, um, I might even just sort of embed it within this video somewhere if I can, just to show you, but he's got like a little pick, uh, microchip pick chip on there, um, I think he's got some flash RAM, um, and I think basically in principle he's doing what I, you know I've, other people have talked about, including myself in the past. You know he's re he's got the, the pick there to read the file system on the SD card, and he's writing some code out to the flash uh, memory, um, and then I think the, the, he's used a really clever technique. Uh, it's simple really when you think about it, but uh, still uh, you know some work has gone in there to make it you know to implement to make it work. But there's a couple of pins on the uh, car of the link if you're not familiar that when you plug it in it kind of the shorted out together so that the the links can determine that you've got a card in. Um, and I think he's doing something clever there where he's uh, you know he's, he's joining two pins up and then removing them and then joining them again to reset the links effectively. Yeah, he may well be just doing it in code. I don't know. Um, rather than you know like physically on the it's just connectivity here on the, the board but uh, anyway let's power it up now and see how it behaves so this is my super links that's had the new um, screen put in there so you can see it's pretty good actually turn the volume up a bit so that's a normal card let's switch that off take that out and put this baby in there so I've got the card in there so I switch it on Let's just see what happens. Yeah, you go straight in. California games, I think. So select like that programming. So it took a good twenty seconds or so there. Um, Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen this game, I don't remember that loading screen. But yeah, that's uh, clearly working fine. So I think uh, what I'll do now is load that card up with my entire library. So we'll just try loading a few games here now. Um, 
I want to trust my one of my Songbird games actually. I forget which one it is now. Um, one of the things that um, you'll know straight away is like an 8 1 format file thing there. So we might be able to, I don't know whether they can, can do anything with that um, or not, but it'd be useful to do page down. So I'll have a look at the source for this. I know um, Saint has published the source code for the menu. So I'm going to see if I can do an update to this. Um, might even be able to show an image of each game and all that sort of stuff. I don't know. We'll, we'll have, a, have a look. I'll have a look at the source code and uh, see what I can do to uh, tweak it. And that's the nice thing, really, that he's made that public. Um, but this is, I think, Championship, uh, championship Rally. Um, sorry, I'm not feeling that great at the moment. My, uh, I'm slurring my words and mixing words up and stuff. But yeah, as you can see, that's worked. It's uh, fine there. Um, let's see if the game will start okay. I do know that um, in the early version of this, um, the menu, he uh, had some bugs to fix um, in regards to you know initialising some of the registers. But I think he seems to have bottomed that out now. I think um, all the games I've tried so far actually have worked. Um, it's a bit like Micro Machines. This God, I'm crap at this game. I really am. Um, you can't download this. This is just one of the ones I've dumped. I just want to test it, see if it works or out on here, and it does. Um, so I'm pleasantly surprised. It looks like I can play. Oh, all my collection of games now. Um, anyway, that's enough for that one. Let's try something else. Yeah, it'd be nice to press right to go page down, so I'll have a look at that after. Uh, Dracula. Jurinic. That's another game, actually, that's not been dumped. Uh, I think this, this one's the demo. Um, the Jurinic demo. I'd be interested to see if this will work. I think it's just 512k, if I remember right. It might be 256k, I can't remember. Um, but that's that's going to be <coughs> the case. I think most of these, nearly all of these, should work. Uh, uh, I'd be interested if you get one of these and you've got a problem with a game, particular game. Let me know, and we'll see if we can do something about it. Um, I suspect that 100% of the library is, is going to be functioning fine, and that's working okay. There's no real copy protection on the Lynx card, so it wouldn't surprise me if uh, they all worked okay. Really. I think the only thing you're going to be lacking on some games, and it's, it's literally the homebrew stuff, is like uh, backup um, capability. You know, but I think there might be something on this car uh, for developers. I can't quite remember now. Um, I think he's extended the API there so that you can actually write to the SD. So, um, and if not, let's like, say so the code's available for that. So. Got you do this now, don't you? you? How do you press the button when it's near the line? I can't remember. Anyway, that's working okay, so let's try something else. So, I haven't got everything on the edge at the moment, I've just done the first, uh, you know, eight or nine folders here. So, um, but the thing is, like I say, it opens up everything, it opens up not just the library of you know, existing um, commercial games, um, but all the homebrew stuff as well. I think that was that Gills and Ghosts thing someone did. Uh, oh, interesting enough, it won't. That one won't work. Whether it's the f size of the file, I don't know. There we go. So I found the first uh, thing that I need to look at, I guess, in terms of the menu. Um, and it could just be that some of these need format in a different way. Um, that might be less than the ideal size. They might not have the right header. Um, let's try Gates of Thunder. Or Gates of Zendikon, is it? Not Gates of Thunder. Yeah, I've been spending too much time with the PC Engine, I think. <clears throat> so it's not going to come off for, across very well this um, I think Vectrex Rowley will be doing one of these at some point uh, very soon I would think so it might be worth checking out his video because uh, he's just got a better presentation style than me I'm more into the just digging into the electronics you know um, and it's, mine are just rough and raw videos really and I don't really spend any time thinking about what I'm going to say or presenting it very well I just get on and do it really um, and it's just a case of if I'm, if I'm here, I'll record it while I'm there, kind of thing, you know. So you just get um, me talking a load of bollocks, basically. Or something like, if you watch something like Vectrex Rolly, you'll find um, is you know he, he obviously he's got better presentation skills there. I think his videos are really nicely put together. Um, and he's got the VGA. Um, I need to do that on mine actually. Uh, remove the uh, brightness and stick the VGA socket. It's on my list of things to do over the next few weeks. So I might get around to doing it. Sooner rather than later. Now this uh, SD card has arrived from Saint. Um, 
but yeah, the point is he'll probably have us connected to a TV and stuff, and you'll be able to see the screen a lot better rather than you know looking at the LCD here like this. It's taken a long time to load that. Um, I suspect that's crashed actually. Could be that we selected um, two games, you know, one in a row kind of thing. Yeah, that's looking more promising. So I think because I selected the, um, you know, that ROM that wouldn't load previously, I think that was the issue. Yeah, so that's working. Incidentally, if you're using Handy, I updated the Handy emulator to fix the uh, sound sample on that game. Um, I also added in a load of fixes from uh, Alex uh, Thiessen as well, uh, Alex.net, Alex.net, not .net, there's no dot. Um, yeah, Alex.net, he did a load of fixes as well actually to the uh, code for Handy, and those are all merged into uh, that version of Handy. Um, I'll perhaps post a link down below actually to Dropbox or something so you can grab that if you still use Handy. I know a lot of people have moved on to using things like Mednafen. Um Yeah, I'm not one of those people. Uh, I tried using Mednafen. I don't like command prompt type based things. I want something, you know, it's got a true, uh, you know, like a Windows 32 front end or something. For, I'm sure there probably is one. You can probably just get a front end for uh, Mednafen, but yeah, I'm still using Handy at the moment. <coughs> but obviously now this SD card is here, there's no reason to use emulation at all, really. You can just put everything very easily um, onto your uh, actual links. I think you can buy this game from Telegames. Um, they probably still have it in stock. Um, but this is another one that was recently dumped. As you start the game. Kill sound in this game. I how you play this now. So a bit of road blasters going on here now. That's uh, working fine. I've tested a good 30 or 40 games so far and actually everything works. Um, no issues at all. Just that one before, I think that Ghosts and Goblins thing which was and um, looked at the file size and it's you know it's like less than 16k so I guess it's perhaps not on the right header or, or maybe it's uh, the wrong file format or something but yeah very very impressed um, he's done a great job but yeah sweet it really is sweet being able to play um, all games in one place like this Turn it down a tiny little bit. Um, and all the homebrews as well, you know. I mean, I, you can run them in emulators, but there's many of them um, running here. Um, I'll show you, I think I might have the Zaku, Zaku demo. Zaku is one of the games I've still got to dump. Yeah, I've just not had a chance to do it. Um, I will do it at some point. Hopefully, it's not going to look uh, too saturated, the colours and things there. Because the reflection's pretty bad, actually. I can see it. Just looking through the viewfinder here. So let's see if we can try this. I don't know if there's any sound on this demo actually. It might be soundless. But yeah, this is the Zaku demo. Yeah, there's no sound is there on this demo. But yeah, as you can see, it's working pretty sweet. Um, I need to get this game done to I want to play the full game really. Um, let's try something else. Yeah, I thought this was Alien, um, it was just starting to not. This is one of the um, soundtracks that Deluxe did. Um, so, hang on. I th guess that's one of the problems with the file naming. You've got to make sure you, you name things according to the 8.3 uh, file format there. Um, which one was it now loaded? I think it was that 4 one, wasn't it? Yeah, the M, I think, is music. Uh, so this was the version of Alien I released. Let's just test this, make sure this works all right. Uh, start. Yeah, I'd say that's working all right. Let's 
try something else. So a bit of pack land here. Um, this is one of the best versions actually in my, my mind. I love this game. Not sure if the cameras focus very well there. Sweet. So this is uh, done by Carrie on the Atari Age Forum. It's quite cool. Yeah, <laughs> you should have an epileptic fit warning on it, I think. It's not bad though. So it's quite cool being able to test all the different homebrew out on this actually. Um, this is like a, a short video clip, I think. I think you can get this on cart. I've got this actually on an EEPROM upstairs somewhere, but it's quite cool, nevertheless. It's got sound as well, actually. Just loops, doesn't it, I think. Anyway, let's try something else. So this is another bit of homebrew from McCarry, uh, the Finnish guy, um, on the Atari Edge forum. Shaken, not stirred. The focus is awful. There we go. I forgot how you do this now. It's quite cool though. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this. Cool effects though. The interesting thing, I tried the demo for this earlier, and the demo only runs from one of Linksman's flashcards, so they must have put some check in there um, to determine whether it's running on the flashcard or not. But the, uh, I've backed up the original here, um, I've got the original upstairs somewhere, it's quite cool. Let's just start the first level. Yeah, it's looking right to me. Yeah, very cool. So this was something Alex Net was uh, messing around with a while back, it's quite cool. I wish he'd finished this, I really do. <laughs> Very cool. Not sure how many screens he put on this actually. Um, oh shit, falling down the hole again. No way, he's got the rope as well. <laughs> I don't think the rope works. But anyway, yeah, that was very cool. I wish he'd finished that. This is one of those games that was um, almost ready to release, but never released. Uh, Damon's Gate. It's quite cool, a little RPG thing. Um, I've got this on Neprom somewhere as well, actually. Um, and again, it's one of these games where there's a few different, it's a, you know, a few different versions of it. It's a bit like that with the Aliens vs Predator, actually. There's a few different versions of that floating around, I think. Um, it's been talked about recently, there's some of the different versions on the forum there, on Atari Age. This game obviously needs the save support, even though the ROM has been released, I released it a while back. Um, Eric was going to do um, a final run, I think, of I Had a Beholder, so I want to get one of those carts off him, even though I've already got one. Um, just because these carts look cool, actually, they're a nice colour, I think they're black and stuff, and they come with a little box and everything, they look really cool. So keep your eyes open for that, I hope Eric um, does that final run soon. But if you want one of these, um, contact Saints on Atari Age, I'll, let's say I'll post the, the link down below to the thread, um, the pre-order thread, just put your name on there, and uh, it'll PM you when he's ready for a payment. Yeah, so overall, very, very impressed. Um, it's really nice that someone's finally got around to producing um, an SD card solution, a bit like the EverDrive, uh, for the Atari Lynx. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.